What does this have to do with reporting services? That and more is coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today is Thursday, which means we're going to do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And this week was a little bit of a slow week, but we still have some stuff that we can talk about. First up on the list is a blog post by Matt Allington where he has a creative way of looking at Power Query as a file audit tool. This is not necessarily something you would have thought of using Power Query for, but it is pretty cool. You can compare files between two different folders. And he walks through how to do that with a Power Query query. So if you're interested in seeing how to do some creative things with Power Query, be sure to check out this blog post. Next up on the list is a blog post by Reza Rad where he looks at visualizations and specifically using KPIs in Power BI. He looks at the new KPI visualization that was released in February, as well as looking at custom visualizations that are options for you to use in your reports. Also, be sure to check out Reza's blog. He's been on fire this last week. He's got a couple good blog posts that span several different categories on the Power BI front. Be sure to check out this blog post if you're interested in using KPIs in your visualizations. He does a good job at laying out how to use them. Next up on the list is more of an administrative item, and this has to do with Azure AD Connect. They do monthly releases, so be sure you're using the latest version if you're doing directory synchronization between your local Active Directory and your Azure Active Directory tenant in the cloud. You wanna make sure that this is always up to date and using the latest version. So be sure to check out this documentation post to see what's new and where you can go download the update from. Last up on the list is a fun blog post by Chris Finland where he looks at how you can use custom thumbnails with mobile reports inside of Reporting Services 2016. He added a cute little picture just to illustrate how it's done, but he walks through how you can actually accomplish that. So if you're intending to use mobile reports in reporting services and you wanna use custom thumbnails, be sure to check out this blog post so that you know how to do that correctly. So which item was your favorite? Go ahead and use the poll up above and let me know what you liked. Also be sure to leave that in the comments and let me know in the comments if there was anything else that I left out that you thought was interesting. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this, where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting and share that out with you. And every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item where I look at how something works, a new feature, or how to troubleshoot something. And really this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.